Guys, my name is James Mossick. I'm with Tulsa Welding Technology Center. Today I'm going to give you a crash course on reading and interpreting isometric drawings. Remember this is just a crash course. There's a whole lot more to it. Depending on how many likes I get on YouTube, I will uh, do some more. Alright, what is an isometric drawing? It's a 2D drawing used to represent a three-dimensional object. It also is, is not to scale, but the information is true and accurate. With this type of drawing, the fabricator can see and understand what is to be built. So let's start with just a simple box. All right, so with the, with the simple box right here, here's your box. Try to bet I'm not the best drawer, but okay. The box, it's just flat right now. So now we'll turn it into a three-dimensional drawing right here. There we go. Now that flat box just turned into a cube. Okay, so how do we draw here? Okay, so let's go with here. You're gonna, this is up over here. That's up. This is down. Okay, so all these drawings are always gonna have a north. Always have a north. I'm trying to look at the camera here, but okay, here we go. This is north, always gonna be north, each corner. North, east over here, let me see. That's gonna be east, and this is south, right here. And over here in this corner is gonna be west, okay? All right, the reason we uh, did this box here was just so you can see a flat box turn into a three-dimensional object pretty easy. Hope everybody's seen it. So let's go ahead and get on with the piping drawings. All right, guys, so now we'll just start with the simple piping drawing. I'm just gonna make a T, okay? And I'll explain how it works in a second. So here we go. This is a vertical line going straight up, right? Okay, and now our long line is running north to south. Now that's actually just a T, okay? So we gotta add the symbol for a T, so a T on the ISO is gonna look like this. A 90 is gonna look like, like this. All right, and uh, we'll go with there. It's a T, that circle right there represents the weld. So if you got the, uh, the pipe running up, you got three welds, one, two, three. If we were gonna put a 90 on this, it was gonna 90 back down. We come straight down. We have a 90 here, 90 there. If this side wanted to go up, this can go up and say we were going to go ahead and turn turn to the south a little. Now that's the south. All right. All those are welds, those are 90s. The object of this right here is just to, to be able to figure out how much pipe you need in between these. So when we're doing the takeoffs, well the takeoff is, this is a system. So the takeoff is your 90s, and we'll explain this over here. And you're trying to figure out how much pipe you need to draw for this ISO. Now we have a drawing right here, but we're missing stuff. What are we missing? We're missing dimensions. Ah, messed that up right there. Put that back in there. All right, just cut the pipe in two. So we're missing dimensions. We're missing the size of the pipe, the, how, what size the pipe is, and the schedule, and the bill of materials, the BOM. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this right here just to make these kind of even so it's a little easier for us. So let's go ahead and we're gonna put some dimensions in here. I'm gonna make real simple dimensions. Everything is measured from end to center, center to center. You don't measure from the side of the fitting to the side of this fitting. Measure from center to center here, center to center here, center to center, okay? And now on this one, there's no fitting down here, so we're gonna measure to the edge. So this is, uh, we'll just go with a, a number right here, right? So here and down, we'll just dream up a couple numbers. All right, so that's the measurement here. We're just gonna go with, I don't know, let's go with 10 foot. 10 foot, zero inches. 
Zero inches. Okay, that's 10 foot zero. So from the center of this fitting to the end of the pipe is 10 foot. Let me grab my little prop here. This is your 90. Okay, we're going to work with four inch pipe. We're going to call this four inch pipe. This is a two inch fitting was what I had handy. So when we're talking about takeoff, we're talking about from the end of here to the center of this run, which right here to here. So if we have 10 foot and we've got a four inch 90 there, I know it's six inches, but we'll go on that in a minute. I know it's six inches. So this right here, 10 foot, now it's nine foot six, because it's a six inch takeoff from the center of this run to the bottom of that 90. I also got the weld, so let's say our weld is one eighth of an inch. It's nine foot, five and seven eighths. Let's go ahead and figure out how to do these takeoffs right quick. So let's talk about takeoffs for a second. Um, there's a few here. Let me put some welds on this T right here so we can see. And we've got some, a 90, what we're working with. Real simple stuff. And we might as well do a flange too. I'm gonna go ahead and put a flange. We may use a flange here in a minute. Okay. So right here, like I was saying, this is six inches. That weld, we're gonna call these weld to eighth, eighth of an inch. If you're doing different types of welding, you may have a different gap, but today we're gonna to use an eighth of an inch. So how'd I know that was four, uh, six inches on that four inch 90? So we got this blue book right here. This right here, it's uh, been around for a long time. If you go to page 97, we got a T. It's gonna show the T here. And we're looking at four inches. I don't know if you guys can see this here. We're working on the four inch side right here, okay? If you look in the book, it shows C here, C here. So if you divided that up, this dimension right here, you got three different dimensions. And this one to the center of this run is M, okay? If you're, we got a reducing T, say it went from four to two. This right here is gonna change, okay? But we're using, today we're using just a, a straight four inch. So C and C is gonna all be the same. So if you look on page 97, you go to the four inch pipe right here, it shows you the C and M right on top of the T. Let's kind of shoot it there. All right, so we go over there and we look, go to four, come across to the C side, and it's four and an eighth. C and the M side, because we're using a straight. So it's four and an eighth here, four and uh, one eighth of an inch. Four and one eighth of an inch here, as well as here. Four and one eighth of an inch. Now remember, if this went from four to two, it'd probably change. You can go over here, four and go down to two, and it would show you, it would change to three and a half. If it was a two inch coming outside the bullhead, it would be two and a half inches, okay? But we're just doing, the, we're just doing four inch right now. 90 okay so our 90 let's go back to page 95 we're using a long radius 90 there's different formulas to figure that out if you know them some of them are like time and a half the diameter of the pipe that's how I knew right off the quick because time and a half on long radius 90 time and a half at six inches come down here here's our our 90 right here You're looking for the a dimension Go down here to four inches, slide your finger over to A, and it's six inches. That's your takeoff. So on this particular 90, it's from the end here, six inches. And don't forget about those welds, they'll all add up. Um, flange, we're gonna go with a flange. Let's talk about a raised face weld neck, okay? Raised face. Let me see, well neck, uh, raised face, well neck flange. This is a 90, I'm gonna just do it like this. This is a 90 and this is just a, a T. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna call it raised face, no, right? we're gonna go with 150. Uh, oh, okay, 150 pound flange. Doesn't mean it weighs 150 pounds, that's just the spec that it is on there. There's several different sizes of flanges. You got 125, you got 125 pound flanges, you got 150s, you have 300s, 400s, all the way up to 2,500 pound flanges. 
That is uh, the rating of the flange that they got. So we're working with the four inch. We're gonna go with the 150, right? And I believe over here says flange, weld neck flange. That's the same thing. And I'll show you here the thing, go down to four. And it's gonna be three inches. Three inches is what it is. That's our takeoff. From the face of this flange to the end of the pipe, or the end of the fitting is three inches. So I have to take this off right here. We're gonna add a flange right here. We don't have a flange up here. Let's add a flange. So there's a flange, there's a weld. What we don't have, we don't have a number either, right? So let's go ahead and put a dimension on this this way let's call it four foot zero four foot zero inches okay so with that being said right there let's go ahead and see how long is our pipe going to be let me put this down four foot zero inches all right this flange we looked it up from here from the weld to the face of that flange it's three inches three inches guys so the first thing we're going to do we got four foot we're going to subtract three inches right here because it's right here, three inches. We got a weld here, we got to take off for that weld. The weld is one eighth of an inch. One eighth of an inch for this weld. Got a weld right here. One eighth for this, and this 90 here is six inches. All right, so now we'll just do the math. We still have four foot of pipe. We need to take off our six inches for our 90. Okay, that'd be three foot six. Let's go ahead and take off our flange, which is three inches. So now we're down to three foot three. And I got an eighth and an eighth is a quarter of an inch. So our pipe length is gonna be three foot two and three quarters. So three foot, I'm gonna write it here. Three foot two and three quarters of pipe. All right, that's how long this pipe is gonna be. This red marker is going to represent the pipe. That's at three foot two and three quarters. So when you do a takeoff, it's pretty simple. You're taking off everything that's not a piece of pipe, okay, in this system. This 90 is not a piece of pipe. The flange is not a piece of pipe. The weld is not a piece of pipe. But you got center to face, center of this 90 to face that flange, so you need to figure out how much your pipe is. That's what, that's all we're trying to do. So we need to figure out over here, we got 10 foot. Okay, let's turn this red thing right here. Down. Now this is pipe, okay? There's nothing on this side of the pipe, but we have to take off right here, all this stuff right in here. So same thing with the 10 foot. We got our 90 at six inches and a weld. That would be nine foot five and seven eighths. So you're taking off six inches right here, plus one eighth of a weld, is nine, foot, uh, nine foot five and seven eighths of pipe. What we need right here, nine foot five and seven eighths of pipe. Right here. Okay, we need some more numbers. Okay, this is, uh, I'm gonna erase this right here. We're gonna pretend this is the same thing. Same, same elevation, okay. Right here, we still got 10 feet, but is this gonna be nine foot five and seven eighths? No, sir. We gotta take off four and an eighth. So right here to the center, from the center of that pipe, it's four and an eighth. But we got a weld, so it's four and a quarter. Gonna add, we'll just add an eight to that quarter. So it's four and a quarter out of ten foot. That'd be nine foot seven and three quarters of pipe right here. So right here, this pipe. I'm gonna run this red line down there. I'm gonna do it on the side because I was messing my marker up a while ago. That's nine foot seven and three quarters of pipe. All right. We got one, two, so we're gonna need another dimension here. This pipe rises up here from the center of that 90 to center of this 90. Let's go with five feet, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Even though, remember, this is not drawing the scale, so if this is a little longer, five feet, the four foot, it may, may not look the same, but the dimensions will be correct. Let's go five foot, it's five foot, zero inches. Five foot, zero inches, okay? So we already know we got six inches right here, six and six, that's an easy number. We're down to four feet of pipe, plus we got an 
eighth and the eighth. So we got to take that out of four foot. So we got, uh, what was that? Three foot 11 and three quarters. Three foot 11 and three quarters of pipe right here. Three foot 11 and three quarters of pipe. All right, so now we need the center dimension of this T right here and center of this 90 for these two runs. Be right here to the T to center of that 90. Still need to figure out how long this pipe is right here. We also need the center of this T to 90. We're just gonna make them typical. I'm gonna make them the same. So right here and right here. Go from there, it's getting kind of jumbled up. We got a bunch of numbers in here. I don't know, let's go with six foot, why not? Six foot, zero inches. This one's gonna be the same thing. Six foot, zero inches. If they're the same, you got a 90, you got a T, so you figure out one, they're both gonna be the same. All right, so we got six foot, zero inches. Let's do the takeoff here. We got six inches for that, so that's five foot, five foot six. And we got a four, what is our T right here? Four and an eighth. Let's go ahead and use this calculator. Be easier. Here, I won't have to think so hard. I'm getting kind of nervous. You guys are making me nervous. Let's go six foot, six feet. Mine is six inches. And we got one eighth and one eighth. That's quarter. So we're gonna minus a quarter inch. And then we're gonna go ahead and minus half that T is four and eight. So mine is four inch and one eighth. And that's gonna equal five foot. Five foot, let me see you. One inch and five eighths of pipe. Oh man. That's how much pipe we need. And it doesn't ever hurt to go ahead and double check your math. So if you go ahead and plus six inches, plus uh, four and one eighth, plus four inch and one eighth, plus a quarter, plus one quarter, you should have six foot, and that's what we got. So being these are the same, that's typical. All right, guys, uh, that was my quick interpretation of isometric drawings. Um, please like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and uh, comment if you like, and tell us what you want to see next time. Anyhow, my name is James Mossack, and we'll see you next time.